Hello everyone and welcome to Blackstar Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here with mgrmusic.com and in this lesson today we're going to be taking a look at some classic guitar tones from Adrian Smith of Iron Maiden. I'm going to be using the Silverline Deluxe for this and all the patches from this lesson are going to be linked in the description below. They're also available on the Blackstar Insider community. The guitar I'm going to be using is my Jackson Adrian Smith signature guitar. Seeing as we're talking about the tones of Adrian Smith, this seems like the most logical choice of guitar for this. And the amp you're hearing mic'd up with a Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser microphone. So if you listen to various Iron Maiden albums, Adrian's tone doesn't tend to change too much song to song. So what I've done in this lesson is I've looked at some generic album specific tones. So while these may not be exact to every song on a record, they're a good approximation of the sort of guitar tone he was using at that point in the band's career. The one we're going to start with is the tone from Number of the Beast. Like I said, this is just a sort of a generic tone that covers the entire tonal spectrum of what he used across the entire album. So for this first tone, we're using the Super Crunch voice with the EL34 response. I've got the gain on about eight and the channel volume up on 10. Adrian was using a very mid humped tone at this point in the band's career. So the bass is set to four, the mid is set to eight and the treble is set to five. I've got the ISF all the way over to the British side also. So we've got a whole reverb on this one. We've also got a tape delay giving us a little slap back and there's also some chorus on there too. The purpose of the slap back and the chorus is not to sort of change the sound at all. It's just to thicken up what we've got. So the chorus is very, very subtle. You're probably not even gonna hear it as chorus, but if you download this patch and you switch the chorus on and off, you'll certainly feel that with the chorus, the tone is thicker. <laughs> So it's not a super high gain tone, but it's a great 80s new wave of British heavy metal kind of tone. The gain on the Super Crunch channel isn't as heavy as some of the other channels on the Silver Line, so even with it cranked, it's not super distorted, but there's enough there to play with. That was a riff from a song called The Prisoner. So we're gonna fast forward a couple of years now in the band's career to the Power Slave album. This is gonna be the second patch I've got loaded up. This is a general tone of that era. Again, this patch is available for you guys to download. On this album, you could expect to hear tracks like Two Minutes to Midnight. <laughs> So for this patch, we've gone to the OD1 channel, but I've still got those EL34s selected. Because the OD1 channel has a lot more gain, the gain's actually been dialed back now to four. We just needed a little bit of extra saturation from the power amp simulation there, but the channel volume is still set to 10. We want that screaming valve amp sound. We've got the bass set to five, the mid set to seven, and the top end's pushed up to about eight for this one. We just want a little bit of extra bite in the top end there, and the ISF is once again in the British side. So now I've changed the reverb to a spring reverb, the slap back delay is still there from the tape delay, but I've just bumped it up just a tiny bit. And the chorus is still there, but it's honestly so subtle, you probably won't even hear it. But again, it just serves the purpose to thicken things out. This tone is great for getting into that Power Slave era Iron Maiden sound. This is when the band was starting to go a little bit more into the progressive waters. Their tones were getting a little heavier and the riffs were getting a little more complicated. It's also great for playing songs like Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. <laughs> The next tone we're going to look at is very much an 80s guitar tone. This is based off the tone from the Somewhere in Time album. So think of tracks like Stranger in a Strange Land. <laughs> So 
So this tone has the same power amp settings as the previous tone. So we're on the OD1 channel with the EL34 response. The gain is also still on four and the channel volume is still on 10. Now we've changed it up in the EQ section here because Adrian was using a slightly more scooped guitar tone at this point in the band's career. So we've got the bass on six, the mid on three and the treble five and the ISF is still all the way up in the British position. So because this is a very 80s tone there's also a lot of additional stuff going on here. The band were using a very processed guitar sound at this point in their career. So we've got a hall reverb now which is set to quite a big sound so there's a lot of reverb here. The tape delay is still there but again it's been pushed up a little bit more for the purpose of thickening and now starting to add a few delay repeats and also the chorus has been bumped up a little bit more as well just to give us more of that 80s sound. So this not only works great for riffs but it also works great for lead lines. So you could play all your favorite Adrian Smith guitar solos and tracks like Wasted Years. <laughs> ton of 80s fun to be had with that patch. It works great as a lead patch as well because if you play those sort of big 80s guitar solos it really makes those notes soar. Now we're going to go to the final patch now. This is from the return of Adrian Smith to the band in the year 2000 with the Brave New World album. This is based off songs like The Wicker Man. This is a drier more kind of raw rock tone so we've pretty much got rid of most of the processing here. We're still using the OD1 voice and we're still using the EL 34 response. Push the gain up just a slight bit now to five and a half and the channel volume is still on 10. But now we're bringing some of those mids back in and also some more top end. So the bass now is down to four, the mids are on six and the treble is up at nine. The ISF is still over in the British position. And now I've gone to a spring reverb but we've gotten rid of the tape delay and rid of the chorus. So this is just like I said a dry raw rock sound very similar to that he was using around about the time he returned to the band for the Brave New World era. <laughs> If you want a bit more of a no-nonsense Adrian Smith tone, you'll love that patch as well. So like I said, all four of these patches are available for download on the Black Star Insider community, but they're also linked down below in the description. So download those, check them out for yourself, install them on your own silver line, and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below in the comments what you thought of these Adrian Smith inspired patches, and also if there are any other artists you'd like us to recreate the sounds of, please throw the names below as well. Don't forget to go check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more videos just like this. We've already done a bunch of other artist patches and there's plenty more on the way. And if anyone out there is looking for a guitar teacher, please head over to mgrmusic.com. Check out the network of great teachers all around the UK waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.